Hey, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here back with some more advanced warfare content. Today we're going to talk about some things that probably interest a lot of you guys. And that is my favorite guns and some of my class setups in advanced warfare that I've been using the past week. I just reached the set or the end of the first prestige. I'm about to hit second prestige. Been playing the game for a week and I have a good idea of what guns I love to use. Actually, six guns I love to use exactly. You're going to be seeing gameplay from all six guns to talk about it and some create a class menu selection pick 13 screen shots that I will briefly go through so you guys can look at my perks my whole class setup because I pretty much use the same thing for every class but you guys can see what I use specifically for each class I'll talk about it briefly but not going too in depth into it it's not going to be a completely complete class setup video but before we get started make sure you guys leave a comment of your favorite gun or your favorite class setup down below and I'll look at them and see if I need to make an update to my favorite guns so so these guns aren't in any order, but the first one I'm going to be talking about is the Battle 27, specifically the Battle 27 AE, which is the gun you get from the special editions of the games. And the Battle 27 is probably one of the best guns in the game. And the two attachments I use on it are the foregrip and quick draw, and you just absolutely beast with this. The gun has a lot of recoil without foregrip, and foregrip actually does a like wonders for every single gun in this game. It's like the magic attachment. So it pretty much makes the gun have no recoil when you attach foregrip to it. And quick draw just lets you snap on really quickly. And I, I just like this is the combo that I use. I messed around with a few things like red dot sight suppressor and everything. But this is the combo that I love to use. And then the perks I'm using are low profile peripherals and then perk three wild card which I have the Blast Suppressor and Scavenger on, and those are pretty much the only perks I use in this game. I mean, perk 1, low profile, pretty much every class, except one I have, like, Lightweight on. I either use Peripherals or Gung-Ho, pretty much. I have one class with Fast Hands, maybe. And then bl I switch between Blast Suppressor, Scavenger, and Toughness, because perk 3 pretty much has all the best perks, and that's pretty much for every single class in this video. And then the only Exo ability I use, if I even use an Exo ability, is Exo Ping just to get in aware of my surroundings. But Battle 27 is definitely one of my favorite guns to use. Next is my go-to rushing weapon, which I absolutely love this gun as well. It's the KF5, and the one I use is a special edition called the KF5 Genuine. It's in the professional tier. It has a boost in damage and accuracy and a decrease in range. But the two attachments I use with this are the laser sight and the quick draw attachment. And then perks I use with this, we can go over this, are low profile, scavenger, blast suppressor. And then I use gung-ho on this class because gung-ho allows you to shoot while you're sprinting and sliding and this is my go-to rushing class you can just hit fire with this weapon it is deadly accurate with the hit fire and even deadly accurate just without like foregrip by itself once you it has like a little recoil going up but once you get into spray mode like you can easily control the recoil and then if i'm not hit firing and i need to aim down sights you can quickly aim down sights with the quick draw and i just completely beast it up the battle 27 in this kf5 are like my two go-to classes battle i use for like regular games and the kf5 is when i feel like rushing which you know it's just the best gun to use in my it's like the only smg i use in this game just to put it like that Next gun, I have the HBR A3, the Lead Launcher Edition, which has, I don't know, let's see, a uh, boost in accuracy, decrease in fire rate, and a boost in handling. Two attachments I use are foregrip and red dot sight. And in my opinion, I think people either love this gun or hate this gun. Personally, I thought I liked it at first, and then I started to hate it because it, like, it shot really slow and the recoil was kind of bad. But once you attach foregrip, recoil is gone. And there's a trick to using this weapon. This is probably why people that love it, like, they probably know this trick. And a special thing about this weapon is the first three rounds of a burst fire faster. So what you need to do when you use this weapon is kind of just, like, have a trigger finger like you're using a semi-automatic weapon. And just kind of shoot in burst. And the fire rate of the weapon will shoot fairly fast. And it's fairly accurate because you're shooting in burst. And it's just, that that's how you have to use the weapon and just own people. And it's become one of my recent favorites when I figured that trick out. The third weapon we have is the Pytaic Heavy Weapon. And I actually use this to play aggressively and kind of rush with, which is kind of interesting. The three attachments I use are Foregrip, Quick Draw, and Laser Sight because I do hit fire with this weapon. And then when I'm not hit firing, because I kind of I rush around with this, like a, it's kind of weird, I rush around with a heavy weapon, but it's what I do. And then when I'm not hit firing, I can aim down sights quickly with the quick draw grip and spray. 
accurately with the foregrip and this also has like a built-in reticle with it so you don't really need red dot for the weapon because I find the iron sights fairly useful. And then we'll talk about the perks for this gun, for this class setup I have because the perks kind of do matter. I have lightweight because I do like to rush around, I'm using a heavy weapon, gotta be a little fast. And then gung-ho as well because I do hit fire with this which is, it's, it's just how I use it. Um, and that's it for that weapon. Two more weapons we have. Next one is the IMR Assault Rifle Attachments Red Dot and Foregrip. This thing is just deadly accurate. It fires in bursts, but it fires fastly. And when you attach foregrip to it, it literally is like a laser. Well, I can't use laser because it actually lasers in this gun. But it's like pinpoint accurate. And it, sometimes it's even hard to use because it's too accurate. I mean, when you're shooting at long range, you're used to like adjusting for recoil. But this thing is literally a laser sight. And then when I use this gun for this class, I use the overkill perk and use the Bulldog Rifle the e Edition because this gun isn't, or the IMR isn't too good in close range combat situations, so I pull out the Bulldog and spray people down with that when I'm in like rooms or something. And for this class, I use fast hands in order to whip it out faster. And that's just a beastly class right there. And then my final favorite gun, final class setup we have is, of course, the AK-12G. Attachments are quick draw and the red dot attachment. This gun is fairly accurate, so you don't even need foregrip to make it more accurate. That was a weird way of wording it. But, um... You know, just the overall good weapon. A lot of people use it. Um, Battle 27 and AK-12 are probably the two most popular guns in the game and the two most popular assault rifles. And um, it's just a good gun overall. So those are my six favorite guns and some of the class setups I have. After playing this game for one week, um, here's a little look at two of my soldiers. You know, I got a nice little Atlas suited up red, white, and black dude. Nice little paladin dude, and then this guy's kind of sick looking too. This guy, I don't really care about. But those are my favorite weapons after playing the game for a week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Use some of these setups I have because I'm telling you, they're pretty decent. If you guys haven't already, comment your favorite weapons and setups down below in the comments because I'm eager to see them. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Sinister Skater, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.